In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a scorecard from scratch and explain all the components involved. So to start, uh, we have an example dashboard here that is displaying various metrics for a sample production line. Uh, I want to draw your attention to the visualization in the bottom right. Uh, this is a scorecard, basically a repeating set of elements. So you want to read this line by line. You'll see bay 1, bay 2, bay 3. Each line is showing all the details for every bay that you see here. I'm going to show you the basics of actually creating this scorecard. So to do that, uh, you want to go to the home screen of Dundas BI and click on New Scorecard. So when you get to this screen, you're going to find various places where you can put content. So most importantly, I want to draw your attention to this now highlighted section at the top. This is your repeater content. So any field that you drop into here, this will instruct the scorecard about how to repeat your data. So let's get started. Let's find our data connector. And I'm going to open the view that's showing me all my equipment effectiveness. So what I want to do is I want to repeat this scorecard by our line name. So that was bay 1, bay 2, bay 3 that you were seeing. So I'll drag that field in. The next section underneath that you're seeing here, this is our header. So anything you see here, this will be repeated one time for every set of child elements that you're going to see. So I'd have one header, multiple bodies, one footer. So let's put some content into here. I'm going to start by going to Components. And I'm going to take a data label. I'm going to place that data label inside the header. So it's just a matter of sizing this, positioning it the way you want, and of course setting the properties to look the way you'd like it to be. So I'll stick with a dark font color. I'm going to set the background to be sort of a gray. Actually with a gray, let's go with a lighter font color. And I'm going to make this header quite a bit smaller. So let's change the label that's being displayed here to be bay number. The next thing I need to do is actually add some body content to this. So going back to my data, let's take line name again and then drop it into the body. So what this will do is it will start repeating the name of the line every time. Again, I'm going to resize the body area so that we have smaller rows and just position this to be centered. So you usually want to have this lined up underneath the header element that you're creating. You'll see now when I hit view, it's going to render the scorecard, which in this case is showing every bay that we wanted to see. So essentially with the scorecard, as long as you understand the repeating element and how to use the basic aspects of the dashboard, there's not much difference here from building a dashboard or building a scorecard. So let's put a chart in here. I'm going to create a downtime chart, so downtime, and I want to see that by date. So instead of taking just a standard SQL date, let's take a hierarchy and let's show downtime by something small, maybe by month. We'll add that into our row section. And then we'll take our metric and drag it into the body. Just position that beside the first element that we created. And of course, revisualize this now to an area chart. Now, since we're creating a cell that's so small, I'm going to actually remove the labels on the left and the bottom of the chart. So to do that, again, click on Properties. And these are your standard chart properties that you would see. I'm going to open up the bottom axis and deselect visible. You'll see that removed all the labels from the bottom. And I'm going to do that with the left axis as well. Finally, before I preview the scorecard, let's copy the bay number and just clone it. And I'm just going to resize this second header element that I'm building. Change the text and we'll just call this downtime. You'll see now when I hit preview, I'm repeating both the chart and all the different bay numbers that you'd want to see. 
So it just so happens that in my case, the data is the same for every bay, but it would be separating each one of these out into you know, their own data that you would see. The last area that you'd want to pay attention to, of course, is the footer. In my case, I've left the footer out because I don't really need a total. But just using data labels and potentially charts, you could very well create a footer that has a total here if you wanted to, or any other content. It really is up to you. And as you can see, that's really all it takes to build a scorecard.